This is Dr. Lauren Mell, University of California, San Diego, Department of Radiation Oncology. This is an instructional video for bone marrow delineation for the International IMRT Protocol. We're looking at a CT scan uh, for a patient with stage 2B cervical cancer. Um, this, in, this video will go over techniques for bone marrow delineation as well as some of the automated tools available in Eclipse to speed the bone marrow contouring. We're looking at the uh, simulation scan at the level of the L4, L5 ver uh, interspace. Proceeding inferior, we will see th um, the first slice at the top of the L5 vertebral body. Uh, we recommend a contour around the outer bo boundary of the uh, bone, including all of the interior uh, st uh, structures as one contiguous structure. We do not worry about uh, excluding um, interior structures that are entirely surrounded by bones, such as the spinal canal. Um, however, when these are separated, you can contour the um, two uh, bony regions uh, separately. Uh, we contour the entire L5 vertebral body, the um, uh, ilium, the entire sacrum, um, the ischium and pubis, and the acetabulum and proximal femurs. All of these um, bone structures should be contoured down to the level of the ischial tuberosities, which should be the last slice on which bone marrow is contoured. Um, at this level, the, the proximal femur should also be contoured, and that will um, conclude the um, extent of the bone marrow volume. There are a few methods available to um, outline the bone marrow. Uh, one approach is just to um, directly hand contour around the bone like so um, on every third slice or so and then interpolate. That's one uh, potential method. Um, there are some automated tools in Eclipse and may, there may be analogous tools in other treatment planning systems that can uh, speed the bone marrow um, contouring. One is uh, flood fill, the other is CT ranger. So I'll go over those techniques. Um, the first step is to define a volume of interest that will encompass the bone here. Um, this sh uh, clicking on this tool should bring up a box and you can adjust the um, boundaries of the box to include all of the bone. Um, so you want to extend it out laterally uh, enough to encompass the trochanter of the femur. Um, posteriorly, you need to make sure that the sacrum is in the box. And anteriorly, you want to make sure that the um, ilium is uh, entirely within the box. And then you can adjust the upper boundary here to meet at the level of the top slice of the L5 vertebral body here um, and um, at the inferior extent it should um, uh, end at the ischial tuberosity. So now, the, now that the volume of interest is defined we can window and level the scan to isolate the bone. Um, here we'll use a Hounsfield unit setting of about 220, uh, 227 or so. And we'll choose an area of the bone that's fairly dense, like the medial ilium. We can click on this tool, click inside, and this um, bar may meet may need to be adjusted depending on the patient. We'll, we'll start with a level of 40 and click apply. That should fill in most of the bone and does a pretty good job of um, contouring the uh, in, inside the bone. There may be some post-processing uh, and editing needed 
to fill in uh, some of the bone that uh, is missing, but overall this does a pretty good job. A second approach is to use the CT Ranger function. So we'll clear that um, and we can window this a little bit more. here and we'll try using uh, these settings here with the CT Ranger function of about 220 on the lower order and th 1400 on the upper and we'll click apply that um, is uh, useful as well for contouring the bone and you can adjust the window and level settings um, and again uh, some some post-processing may be needed as this technique can pick up some contrast enhanced vessels or calcifications but for the most part does a good job of uh, quickly contouring the bone. So those are some techniques available in Eclipse for bone marrow delineation. Um, again you want to ca uh, contour the outer uh, um, boundary of the bone and fill that in, treating the bone marrow as a solid continuous structure. The regions uh, contoured should include all of the pelvic bones, the ilium, ischium, and pubis, as well as the L5 vertebral body, the entire sacrum, the acetabulum, and the proximal femurs. The superior extent should be at the top level of the L5 vertebral body, and the inferior extent should be at the level of the ischial tuberosities.